Good morning, Biafras. Good morning, lovers of freedom. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to this very channel. Good afternoon and also good evening. It's a new day and I pray that God will not let you alone, that his grace and protection will be over you and your children. Amen. Now we are bringing the voice of our Prime Minister, Simon Eba, who is very consistent who is not looking at insults and name callings, who is focused and his eyes on the ball, who has the interest of Biafra's at heart, who is the enemy of Fulani and Nigerian government. Anybody you see or hear Nigerian government start lamenting, hey, call this person, arrest this person, arrest this person. Know that that person is pressing the right button to explode and, and destroy Nigeria. Hmm? Nigeria is not a good business center. It's not a good one because it is selfishly built. So, Simon Iba is trying to tell us that what he's doing gradually will get to UN. Yes, and he, he, he takes the template and makes you to know things ahead. And as, as time goes on, you see that that thing will play out the way he said it. Yes, because I know. By the time these people are complaining bitterly, UN will talk. And that is exactly what we want. Not that we are waiting for UN to talk. But we must not allow our land to be taken over. That is basic thing. Alright? And we will not allow subjugation of any sort. That is basic too. So whether they talk or not, we are moving and we are going home. Biafra is the key. Please let's hear our Prime Minister. Let him talk to us now. Our community, it will gradually go to the United Nations. It will also go to the U.S. government. It is already there. They are talking about it. So what are we doing? We are facing Nigeria using what I called a multi-dimensional approach. Multi-dimensional approach, political approach, diplomatic approach, armed struggle to defend ourselves. And today they tell you, did you see where somebody carry arms and uh, and get freedom? Now ask them, did you see where somebody allow himself to be killed and get freedom? The answer is no. You can never say you want to be a good person, stay like this, let Nigeria army kill you, and then by then you get your freedom. It doesn't work. What works now is kill me, I kill you. Come to kill our people, I will make sure you don't kill them and go free. And that's exactly what is happening. Today we see them debating on the floor of the United Nations General Assembly, voting for the Palestine to be part of the UN. Why? Because they committed act of terrorism, they kill women, kill children of the Israel. And then they back them with the media war all over the world. I want you to understand that the war between Israel and Palestine did not start today. There has been a war of ages. But today, they have done the unthinkable. And now, instead of the world to condemn the act of terrorism method on civilians, they are validating them. But you know what? Any day you do something like that, believe me, the whole world will condemn you. And we will never ever raise our arms against civilians and children. Because we believe in respect to human dignity and respect to life of others. But any day you carry gun as a Christian to take the life of other people, that have no guns. It will become the worst thing that the world will talk about. But look at what Palestine did and look at what is happening all over the world. They are voting for them after the terrorism against Israel. So Biafra people, we will not do the same thing. But what we are going to do is to make sure that those who have killed Biafra people for ages will never ever kill them again and go free. It does not matter how long this is going to take us. We are also making sure that Nigeria will never have its presence 
in Biafra land after December 2nd. And you know, thank you very much. Uh, Mazi Bernard, please continue from here, please. Um, thank you very much, our able Prime Minister. We thank you, we honor you so much. We are very proud of you, and we'll continue being proud of you. And in our next program, uh, we have the presentation of cake, cake for our Prime Minister. Uh, no, in our next program, we have presentation of song to our Prime Minister by Mazi Anthony Wallace. Mazi Anthony Wallace, meet yourself and present your song. With one minute before you go on, there's a hand Mr. up, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, our media, one of our media member, I'm sure she wanted to say something about the color or something. Please, uh, okay. Betty, please uh, unmute yourself. Betty, please. Hello, fellow Bia friends, my wonderful people. I will start by greeting our Onyen Dumazi Nam de Kano, Ogadi Kechinechi Adagwabu. And I'm greeting my wonderful Prime Minister, the most handsome man on this earth. Ndi Busina Obwa Dimane Mema, we are very proud of him. Yeah, well. Especially the way he talks with boldness. That is the way the son of a lion behaves like a lion. He is our great man. I'm very proud of you, my prime minister. You know, I want to tell Biafrans one thing. During the war, the children were sitting for three years. And now that the Self-referendum is coming to a close end. Our PM and self referendum Self-referendum is not coming to a close end. No, the self-referendum voting. Is not coming to a close end. The self-referendum so, uh, voting will continue until October, uh, no, until November 28. Okay, has it been extended? It has not been extended. It has been like that from the day one. What well, we, we, like we have the first stage, the second stage and the third stage yes for the first stage uh, there's a three-day um sit at home i'm just trying to encourage them to sit at home for those three days as a sacrifice and as a chance to enable them make their vote for this first batch of voting so my people we have to comply you know, in every situation, there's a sacrifice that someone has to make. So let no one be dragging their feet because we are almost there. As one of the media teams, I'm supporting my Ugo for welcoming our PM with $30. Ugo is a wonderful man. He is always Thank you, a sister. Thank yeah, you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah. my PM no. There we. There we. There we. Uh, media wada. There we. Thank you very much. Move, uh, please, Mazi Bernard, continue from there, please. Okay. Thank you very much, Mazi. So I welcome Mazi Anthony Wallace. Please tender your song to the Prime Minister. Um, Anthony, oh, do you have your hand up? I Where are you? How do I locate you? Who is Anthony? Yes, I, yeah, I pick it then. Okay, okay, I'll spotlight you. All right. Okay. Go okay. On. Okay. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Our Prime Minister, you are highly welcome. I told me, G, we're going to organize. Can we say welcome to Spain? I like living in a man, going to go to Narusike, a Ganagan Abata. I make a fine up in a two year. I call up in a size on in a two year, Obatobia, Obatobia, no hinde. I make an endless pen, especially. Nasu, you're highly welcome. Though Cambidonia, one can keep a mepana, can we say Obatobia, no, not Spain. There were. 
Okay, Sam. Bam, 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 Abu Gene Nako, Abu Mbure Baumu Biafra Nako, Makara Britenu na Rocha, Ndiaroge Kwehame, Eo, Arajula Jwada no Mweya Mancha, Wona Fugo Ka Nigeria Se Nguro Mwe Kwensu, Ndi Britenu na Ndi Roche, Mego Nigeria Ka Hawaba Nukwanya, E chichojo abatago Nigeria isi Nigeria ndo E chichode kono nisi Ofekempi Nigeria Atora kagema Onabuke njina abawari awaji Ifele mena Nekenenu Ngwa rojo Hangutara nguta Na haga kuchuboya Ochukwe meka Ochukwe meka Ochukwe meka Simon, Biko, Jisike, Jisike, Elena, Nyanazo, Atonegu, Nguane, Ike, Nigeria, Bonankete, Ndeto, Kwasaro, Bam, Madonu, Bam, Warojo, Echiche, Hezuroke. Enyo, enyo, le, enyo, enyo, le, enyo, enyo, le, enyo, enyo, le, Eny biafra na la biafra, eny biafra na la biafra, eny. Lo ta kwa no nam di ka, no nam di ka, no na la biafra. Lo ta kwa no hama di ka, hama di ke na la biafra. Lo ta kwa no Simon e baba to bie o na la biafra. Lo ta kwa no Dragon Simon, Dragon Simon na la biafra. Lo ta kwa no Holy Ghost Commander, Holy Ghost Commander na la biafra. Lo ta kwa no biafra e force, biafra e force na la biafra. Eny yo, eny yo, eny biafra e wo, eny. Ebe kunu ke bi biafra. Ebe ka unu si biafra gama rapo biafra gane bozo gabiri. Agama rapo biafra gane bozo gabiri biafra gadendo. U mwoko libe muji ke lube nuna biafra biawo. U mwabwa ribe muji ke lube nuna biafra biawo. Ebe kunu gebi biafra. Ebe kunu gebi biafra. Gama rapu biafra. Gane bozo gabiri. Gama rapu biafra. Gane bozo gabiri. Biafra gadendo. Biafra gadendo. Thank you. Thank you, my comrades. You are highly welcome, my prime minister. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, well, thank you. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, well. yeah, uh, yeah. Wake up. We welcome, we welcome you. It's very yes. sweet. And we, we have, have a presentation from Mother Sister Chinian. Greetings, Chinian, and let's have the allocator. Is that Julia Chinian? Are you the one? Yes, Chinian. Yes. All right. Please unmute. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh. Greetings, everyone. You're welcome. There you go. There you go. Say welcome to Spain. There you go. So my presentation is taken from the Bible. From the book of Isaiah 49, from 8 to 20, 26. Uh, before I start, I'm one of those that uh, joined the struggle during COVID. So the first time I heard the voice of our leader, Mazin Namdika, I said, 
I believe in his words. But I don't know. Because the situation of things, the way I see things for this to happen, it must be somebody that is that is from God, somebody that is that is being elected by God. I said, okay, I believe in his words, and let's watch and see. So with time I was convinced, I said, yes, this is really somebody appointed by God. So when he was kidnapped, I said, God, and lo and behold, comes our prime minister. I said, yes. The same God who have, who have given us a leader mass in Namikalo have also Amazing. why our leader is why our leader was kidnapped. So my presentation, as I said, is taken from from Isaiah and it's titled The Restoration of Jerusalem. So in this presentation, we are Jerusalem is is written, I will replace it with Biafra. We are Israel is The Lord said to, to his people, when the time comes, I will show you heaven. And I say that the time is now. So God is ready to show, God is already showing us favor. We are friends. I will guide and protect you. And through you, make a covenant with all people. I will let you settle once again in your land that is now led west. Dear friends, God say that we are going to settle on our land again. I will say to the prisoners, go free. And my uh, leader Mazinam de Carlo, who is in the dungeon today. God allowed it. it. It happened because God allowed it. Because nothing will ever happen unless God allowed that. And I know that God allowed it for a purpose. And God is saying that he will free our leader at due time. Amen. This is so touching this morning. And dear friends, this is where we will call it a wrap. Yes, whoever that puts time in this struggle, God will bless. Whoever that puts means in this struggle, God will bless. Whoever that puts truthfulness in this struggle, God will bless. Whoever that is causing this great cause, of course, you know, the reverse is the case. She cause shall be upon that person. Unless the person is doing it ignorantly. But if you know and you clearly say no, we will not be free. God will cause you. Because freedom is our inalienable right. Inalienable right. Yes, that's how it is. Thank you very much once again, my beer from people. God bless you all.